Okay. I don't know how well this is going to work, guys. But, you notice the green alien looking creatures. a little better. Okay. Pretty good example of um, that is Hydra. But these are probably some of the most deadly creatures you can have in an all shrimp tank. They have, and I apologize, but there's no way I can get a close enough zoom in on them. You can kind of tell on that one how you can see like this aura around the head. That's actually a ton, a ton well, I, not a ton, a ton. It is probably a good 20 or 30 tentacle-like items or arms, appendages. And sorry about the shaky camera work. The Hydra basically can sense the electrical charge being given off by another creature, i.e. seed shrimp, uh, worms, or in our case, shrimp, and fry. Well, if a fry happens to get close enough and this can reach out and sting it, that fry can be basically temporarily paralyzed. And if that happens, the hydra can use the tentacles that it just stung your shrimp fry with and bring it to the head or to the mouth or whatever we want to call it. And then it slowly but surely eats your shrimp fry. You can't squish these things. They don't die like that. You can't really scrape it off and you know into like a paper towel because if one of them gets off it lives this bottle of water I have mixed I don't know why it's not focusing I apologize inside this bottle of water I have mixed safeguard 4 uh, into boiling hot water in order to have the dog dewormer uh, it's a dog dewormer safeguard 4 and you're looking for the finbenzendalzal Finbendazol. That's what you need. Finbendazol is pretty much the safeguard for is a dog deworm. For our aquatic purposes, safeguard four is Hydra Killer. 
and what you are trying to do is you're trying to add one to one and a half ounces of that mixture so one one and a half ounces of safeguard four per 10 gallons of aquarium water by what i have seen in using this in other instances it is completely shrimp safe i don't I've gone way more than the one to one and a half ounces of finbenzins all. And my shrimp have been absolutely fine. I have not used it in a tank that has any type of fish in it. It does say that this mixture can hurt snails. I have not found that to be the case, but tonight, because of the outbreak in this tank and my two female crystal reds in here being so close to hatching their eggs, I have to get this hydra situation under control now, but I'm going to add probably a good two or three ounces and then show you a little bit of the tank after i add it and then i will show you the tank in about 12 hours 12 to 24 hours oh look there's my other guppy baby pretty cool And that is what it looks like when you add the mixture to the tank. It's going to cloud it up. But again, you give it 12 to 24 hours. The shrimp do fine. It does kill some of the worms. It can kill the shrimp, or not the shrimp, the snail eggs. But I've yet to have any really bad turns on snails dying. I have noticed snail eggs being no longer viable. But it pretty much just goes through your tank. You won't even notice a huge difference within the Hydra in that first little bit. See, they're still just being them, but as this breaks down a little bit more into the, the molecular makings of the H2O and of all of that, some enzyme within that finbenzenzol uh, attaches or gets absorbed by the hydra and I will show you this in about 12 hours and hopefully we'll have a huge noticed decrease of hydra